guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here then please stick around and hit that subscribe button I do weekly vlogs every Sunday and during the week a couple of fashion videos so today is actually Sunday that I'm filming this video which is kind of rare for me but I'm feeling it's inspired the sun's out I got this delivery from Zara yesterday so I've been keen to open it for you guys I wanted to do more of like an unboxing style whereby I open the items up first impressions and then I will do try on clips and actually talk through once I'm trying them on kind of the fit the feel all that kind of stuff so if you want to see what I got just keep watching firstly I will just say before we jump into the haul that I got this cute little pretty polka dot dress from boohoo recently I currently have a discount code with them which is Freya25. If you didn't see my Boohoo haul, then I will leave that linked below. But also, don't forget to head over to my Instagram, which is FreyaFarrington1, and I have a little shop tab where you can see some of my top picks. And then again, simply swipe up to shop, use the discount code, and you get 25% off. Okay, so the first thing that I picked up is going to clash massively with what I'm currently wearing, but it is this cute little, I say set, it's not really a set, it is sold as individual pieces, so you would have to buy them separately. But the first being this top, I got in a size small, $15.99. I love the kind of like the Moroccan inspired uh, beige and white stripe detailing there it's kind of like a trio stripe if you can see and then i also picked up the matching pants which looks so comfortable it's actually from the basic collection this one which i'm pretty basic aren't i i got it in a size medium and the pants were only 19.99 which i thought was pretty impressive i'll try them on for you let you know about the fit and everything now i am in love with this set it is kind of on the lines of like wearing pajamas outside i think with the stripe as well but I just think it's so cute, it's so comfy. Like it really feels like I'm just chilling in PJs. I've just tucked in this top just ever so slightly like that at the front and just left it to fall naturally. Love the colors. Like these kind of browns, tans and creams, I love. So this is probably something that you will be seeing on the gram. Okay, next up I picked up something that is not in my size. I remember because they were limited with sizing. So I went with a large anyway just to try it and if it doesn't fit I'll send it back. My intention is not to keep everything here anyway because my bank balance won't appreciate that. But I always find that really hard when I order from Zara because I like everything. But anyway, this being one of them, I really like it. This is gonna be like a perfect basic if it does fit me really really like it. I'm in love with this top. The fact that I've got it in a large is no issue whatsoever. I mean it's a little bit baggy and loose fit like around the bottom but I've just got a strapless new bra which the way that the um, top of it and the back of it falls you can get away with wearing a strapless bra. You don't have to go braless. I think it's a really nice cut like here the, the way it where it is it's not high neck it's not too scoop with it being a crop top i quite like the fact that the neck is just that little bit higher the fabric of it is amazing like i love the knit material if i show you a bit closer up how pretty that is because i don't play around much with color i love to play around with texture and different materials in fact this is probably my favorite thing because it's a basic because it's a staple i'll get a lot of wear out of it and yeah this is probably my favorite the next thing that i picked up was kind of a bit of a wild card because the main reason why i saw it and picked it out was because i thought it was really affordable for what it is so it's a faux suede in a size small only 19.99 for like a little kind of jumpsuit love this fabric i mean zara's quality is always the best i find i just love their quality and their pieces the straps are like really thick and even though they're not adjustable I feel like they could be a good fit so yeah very simple very boxy which I kind of like that design I like the straight up and down sometimes it's a bit different kind of like hopefully will just fall really really nice okay so this is the faux suede play suit this one unfortunately is going to be going back it just doesn't fit my body shape like as I imagined it would I thought it would like fall a lot more but it actually just holds me in all the wrong places and the body is like very long so if I wanted to wear it like where my crotch is like there then I've got this little gape over here like an excess material next up I've actually seen these in store and keep like keeping my eyes on them every time I go in I notice them so I figured order them online try them if they don't work if they're not very nice I can always send them back nice and easy but I think I'm going to love these. They are some beige and white, high-waisted, with a rope detail around the waist. 
trouser and they're kind of like in a nice linen-y fabric so they're nice and light perfect for this weather when it's summer and it's really hot you just want a nice light material and if your legs aren't prepared then at least they're covered but you're not too hot i got them in a size medium i'm loving everything so far which is kind of annoying because i was hoping to find a few things that i didn't like i can send back however i like these like <sighs> Uh, I don't really have any negatives to say. I mean, I love the beige and white, beige cream, that kind of thing is obviously my obsession. I love the bow detailing. They are $25.99, which I suppose, you know, $19.99 would have been a bit better, but $25.99 for a pair of trousers is fine. I suppose the only thing I would say maybe is that this bit goes down a little bit, so sometimes the belt pops up, if you see what I mean. There is a belt loop at the back there, but that little bit of skin there sometimes you know I'd have to like hoist them up a little bit that's my only slight negative but you know it's not doing it all the time it's just maybe if I were to sit down <sighs> thumbs up for me again next up I picked up some white jegging style jeans I got them in a size UK 10 which is a size 38 19.99 these were and they are high-rise shaper jeggings they're called so I really like wearing high-waisted things, so I'm hoping these are going to work nice. $19.99. I am a little concerned they're going to be a little bit sheer. We will see in the try-on clip. They're, like, super flexible, really, really comfy. I would say they're more of a jean than a jegging, to be honest with you. I get what they mean with jegging in terms of, like, the flexibility of them. They don't feel as stiff as a normal denim jean would, but they still do up as a jean would. The only thing is, is look how obvious that label is. I think you can see that there. So I would definitely cut that out. I pretty much always cut out the Zara labels anyway because they're so big and they're just like uncomfortable. So this is from Zara Basic but it's also the Stratford Special Edition range and they had these uh, like high-waisted white pants. I got them in a size medium. They're only $29.99 which for good quality white pair of trousers I think is good. The only thing is, is they do kind of look like they might be a little bit sheer. We'll see. I'll try them on for you guys and let you know what I think when they are on. Okay, these I really, really like. I think they feel much smarter though. They, they've got like a nice tailored fit. The bow here is very thick, so it feels like, like you can tell it's from a, a different collection, like its own range, uh, just because of the quality of it. I do feel like that little... You know, little details like the pocket on the bum, the big thick bow, the thick waistband with like thick belt loops, the tailored dart design down here. It definitely feels more high end. I feel like these are going to be like a classic piece that will stay in my wardrobe for a long time. So yeah, thumbs up. From the basic collection, the knit range in a size small are these pants. Oh yes, okay, they, they had these in these like wide leg pants, as you can see, they're just like a beige kind of colour, elasticated waist, very, very simple, plain crepe kind of fabric, wide leg trousers, essentially. They had a matching top, which kind of like covered the bum, so I thought these were going to be quite sheer as a result of that, and I wanted to get the top, but they didn't have any in my size, and they did have this set in other colours, and they had sizes available in both colours. But just for this one in particular, because this was my favourite colour of the collection, um, they didn't have the top. So I thought I would try the trousers anyway. They're only $19.99. I'm in Manchester tomorrow, so if they have the top in the Manchester store, and if I like these, I'll pick the top up tomorrow. Okay, so I love these pants. The comfort of them are unreal. They're nice and thin and lightweight as well, which for this kind of weather is perfect. And like I said, when your legs need shaving or you're not quite prepared, if you've got a trouser on, ideal, but you don't want like hot jeans or thick joggers or anything. So these kind of like crepe fabric trousers are perfect. The only thing is, is I do really like how they've styled it with the top that they've paired it with, which is quite long, so it's kind of covered. Just because with a trouser like this, the seam at the front kind of looks a little bit camel toe like, I'm not gonna lie. But, um, which is kind of annoying because I'd quite like to wear it as like a you know, wide leg pants set with a crop top maybe, but I just feel like these ones in particular are better suited with something longer covering your bum and yes, yeah, so comfortable. Next up, I picked up some joggers, which I usually get all my joggers from 
misguided or pretty little thing but I thought I would try the Zara ones my only concern with these is they might be a little bit sheer again I will try them on that's the only thing with buying like white and cream clothes is you have to be careful on the bottom half with them being a bit sheer are $19.99 size small let's try them on these a kind of like as I expected and I'm still torn with these just because I figured they were going to be a little bit sheerer but um, and the main reason why I like them is that they're not like my other joggers which are thick. These are nice and thin and lightweight more better suited for warmer weather. But look, you can see the label there and the pocket which is kind of a bit of a pet peeve when you can see the pocket like that. I'm just not so much a fan but I love cream so like find me some lightweight cream that you can't see the pockets it's not going to happen is it even just with this top i think this top goes quite nicely with it and then the gold jewelry a straw bag you see where i'm going what do you guys think yes or no let me know okay this came as a like part of a co-ord there was a jacket matching jacket which i thought was fairly pricey for what it was so i thought i would just pick up the shorts and they were 25.99 i got them in a size medium again they've got that tie around the middle so i'm hoping they'll be able to cinch me in which i think they will by the looks of it that looks pretty tiny and what i loved about this in particular because I love that kind of safari trend cargo style short but I quite liked that it had like a feminine touch of the uh, crochet lace along the sides it's got it on both sides it's got a little pocket detailing at the back and it's just they're just a generally good like kind of safari style short which I think could look really really nice they are from the basic denim collection they're definitely not denim but anyway Let's try them on. Okay, these shorts I really like. I just love Zara. Zara is my brand. I think if I could only shop one brand for the rest of my life, it would probably be Zara. As much as I love denim shorts, I'm yet to find a pair that isn't super high that I would only wear on holiday. Whereas these I would wear in England. They are still short, but it's just they're not like short and tight around the bottom. Really like these. Love the colour of them as well. I think they go quite well with just a little basic crop like this cream one. Okay, and lastly for trousers, I have these, which again I got in a size UK 10, which is the 38. 25.99 these were, and these were a white trousers. So again, I'm not going to be keeping all of these. I'm going to pick my preferred fit and style I think but I thought I would pick out a few to choose from so these are high waisted although these don't look like they cinch in quite as much as the others and also the button details are silver so I was kind of hoping they were going to be gold okay these trousers I was I was right when like I held them up and noticed that they looked a little bit bigger at the waist they're a size 10, which I am typically. I know my waist is a little bit smaller, so sometimes I struggle with like a bit of a gap at the back, but the, these are too big. I don't know if you're meant to wear them a bit lower maybe, uh, but also I'm a bit put off with the silver buttons just because I'm wearing gold a lot at the minute. And as nice as they are as a trouser, I just feel like I've got better. So I'll be sending these ones back, unfortunately. And the last thing I'm really holding my hopes up for, they are a pair of shoes. These are a bit on the pricey side. They're £50, which if they fit and if they work, could be my staple summer shoe. They're a kind of like, how do you describe these? They're like a straw shoe. They say that they are handmade and I got them in my size is a UK six. Please, please fit. I'm gonna try them on now. No. Oh God. These are not gonna be comfy enough for me. I have like wide feet. <laughs> Fat feet, thanks mom. <laughs> and these feel too narrow for me, but if you, your feet are normal, then they'd probably be nice. I mean, how amazing are they? They're so pretty. I'm gonna have to say, send these back, unfortunately. I suppose I'm saving myself 50 quid, aren't I? Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you liked everything that I picked out. Let me know which was your favorite piece. I will link all my social media channels down below and I'll try and link all the items as well if you wanted to shop them yourself down below. Stay tuned for some outfit pictures on my Instagram, which is FreyaFarrington1. And again, please subscribe if you haven't already. It would mean so, so much to me. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you again next time. Bye, guys. Oh, Jesus. They're currently... But also, stick around. But also... I'm going to have to put this down. Anyway, so, as I was saying, so as I was saying, it's kind of
of like standard for basic. Standard for basic? Oh god, it's so hard. That androgynous kind of feminine meets masculine. So <laughs> that was a bit odd. Oh no. 